Mini twists are the new hottest natural hairstyle, so let's get into the do's and don'ts of maintaining this style. Hello, friends and family. This is Megan Boy, aka Chawna Me Gook Sadam. Give me down. Now me, I'm absolutely obsessed with mini twists. Ever since I saw them first come out, I knew that I had to do them. Now I just got a blunt cut on my hair not that long ago and I personally feel like this hairstyle looks the best with a blunt cut. It looks more full. Now mini twist will basically take down the volume of your natural hair so i recommend getting a fresh haircut before doing this style in my opinion the blunt cut does look the best i'm also blow drying this out just so my hands can glide through um, doing the style much much easier rather than getting tangles and knots because my hair isn't blow dried or detangled Now, I forgot to show the cream, but basically what I'm doing is I'm using a cream on my hair strands and I'm going to be using a curl mousse on the ends of my hair. Now, the reason why I'm not using the curl mousse on my hair is because I am just blow dried my hair and I don't want my hair to completely shrink back up. Now, why am I doing that is because I personally believe that when you blow dry your hair and do mini twists, it's going to give you a fuller and thicker look. That's completely optional if that's what you want to do with it, but I prefer a fuller look. So I'm just going to use a cream to moisturize my hair, keep it moisturized as I have the hairstyle in. And then I'm going to use the curl mousse on the ends of my hair. I don't mind if the ends of my hair shrink up a little bit. I want them to do that anyway because it keeps the ends of my hair more protected from any type of breakage or damage. And just to extra make sure that my ends are completely shrunken and sealed up, I'm gonna take a fine tooth comb and just comb out the ends of my hair and then wrap them around my finger. Okay now, so the next tip I have for you guys is to honestly not part your hair in a perfect way now the first time i did mini twists i did use a mirror i turned around and i cleanly parted and sectioned off every little piece of my hair here's the thing mini twists they take a long time to put in okay i try to get them as small as possible now in the back, I do do them a little bit thicker and I get smaller towards the perimeter of my hair and the top of my hair. But honestly, because this hairstyle does take a while to put in, I would not worry about the parting, especially in the back. In my opinion, mini twists look the absolute best when it's not like parted so perfectly. I don't know if that makes sense, but as you can see in the video, once I start to get closer and closer to the top of my head, uh, where I do my middle part or the perimeter of my head, I do do the parts a little bit more cleanly and neatly and smaller. But in my opinion, I don't have time to be looking at the back of my head and doing these mini twists and breaking my head to do a perfect part. In my opinion, it just looks so much better when the parts are not perfect. Another tip that I have for you guys is while you are having mini twists in for however many weeks you're gonna keep them in, do not, and I repeat, do not let your hair get dry, okay? Depending on your hair porosity or what your hair needs are, protein, if you need more hydration, what I would do is I would keep some rosemary water in the bottle, in the fridge, and I would just spray your hair every three to four nights just to keep it hydrated now remember guys using a hair cream that's not hydration okay i would not worry about using a hair cream hydration really only comes from water so even just using a regular spray bottle every three four days on your hair to keep your hair hydrated is super 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 important and the reason why is because when you go to take down this hair you don't want dry brittle hair you want luscious flourishing hydrated hair because it's going to make the takedown process so much so much so much more easier listen this hairstyle takes a long time to put in and it takes an extra long time to take out when your hair is dry so please try to keep your hair as hydrated as possible now as for your scalp itself 
I would try to refrain from washing your hair with mini twist in as much as possible. And instead, I would use a scalp detox to lift the dirt up from your scalp. Now, I know this is crazy. The hairstylists that are going to come for me because I'm telling you not to wash your hair. But personally, I'm the type of person that I don't braid the root of my hair. I don't have time for that. And yeah, if you want your mini twist to turn into sister locks, go ahead and keep washing your hair in between. Now you can wash your hair in between, but I would mostly just focus on the scalp and kind of let the rest of the shampoo kind of just like, you know, drip down and wash out. I would really refrain from like scrubbing your mini twist together and doing a full deep wash. I would just focus on the scalp. Now, if you want this style to last you for up to five weeks, I know some people go longer, I personally wouldn't, I would recommend that you braid the root of each twist. The reason why is because when you wash your hair or when you're swimming or when you get this hairstyle wet in the rain, when your hair is shrinking up at the root, that's the most dangerous part that is gonna turn these into sister locks. But when you braid it at the root, you prevent that hair from shrinking. If you are somebody who you know you're gonna wash your hair a couple times in between and you want the style to last longer, it can go for about five weeks with the root braided. Without the root braided, if you're lazy like me and don't wanna braid the root, I would say three weeks maximum please do not leave your mini twist in too long unless you want sister locks i cannot say that more now as i told you guys blow drying your hair is absolutely optional i've done this hairstyle on soaking wet hair i don't personally love it my hair shrunk just a little bit too much and i'm going to show you guys the difference here also, a technique that I do to get the fullest, most voluminous look is that I twist my hair very tightly at the root about eight times, and then I do a very, very loose twist to get the most volume as possible. And then at the end of my hair, I do a little bit of a tighter twist, and then I pretty much twirl it around my finger with the curl mousse so that way it shrinks up and protects my ends against any type of damage while I'm wearing my hair. The perimeter of your hair is likely going to be the thinnest and the most sensitive to accidentally locking. In my opinion, a tip that I have is I would take out a few twists every week or so just around the perimeter and I would redo them. Personally, I've seen a lot of people get mini twists and the perimeter of their hair because it's so fine and thin compared to the rest. Um, it ends up locking and you will have a chunk of your edges missing. Now me, I'm gonna be a mini twist girly till I die. This is my absolute go-to hairstyle to put under braids, under wigs, to go swimming, to go outside. Just whenever I don't wanna think about doing my hair, it is well worth the time putting it in because you really don't have to do your hair at all for a couple of weeks except for some very, very, very low maintenance. Now, my next video, what I'm gonna do is show you guys the different styles that you can use as you're putting in your mini twist. You can do braid outs, you can do twist outs, you can do bantu knots. I love how versatile they are, so let me know if that's something that you guys would love to see. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!